Greetings there warriors. We have a new challenge today to create an interactive background with undo and redo buttons. So what we need to do basically is to click here around our div and to create circles on that click. And after that, we need an undo button that should remove the last created circle from the background. And we need to allow multiple undos that will be tricky and also to handle cases where there are no actions to undo. And same thing for the redo. So we should handle cases where there are no actions to redo and it should restore the last undone circle. Let's start with this one. This will be interesting. I already installed my React app using Vit, so we can go into our app file. And here I'm going to quickly create just one to-do list. So we need a clickable div. We need, uh, let's create some circle component, which we are going to bring up on click. So we need that click, click functionality. And also in the end, we need undo and redo functionalities. Okay, let's start now. So I'll first delete this H1 and I'm going to create a button which I'm going to call undo, then the same for redo and in the end div and I'm going to put the class name, we can just call it main. Then we have our CSS, we can use the index CSS and here this is everything from Vite by default. I can put class main. I don't have tailwind here on, on Vite. And uh, I can put just height 700 pixels, same for width. And we can put a background color white just to see it how it looks. Looks okay. We can close that one. We can also close the challenge over here. And now we can start with our first functionality. We are going to create a create circle function. And that function is going to use an event, which we can take from react mouse event like this. And now we can take like this page X and page Y if I'm correct from the event and let's try to console log those two like this. Yes. And now when we put here on click and create circle function, we should now here get, yes, here we are getting the, so now if I go to the far and here, right and bottom, it should be bigger numbers. Yes, 607 and 695. This one looks good. So now we have the coordinates for each circle and we'll have to save it on each click. So for that, we are going to create points and set points. We're going to use the use state hook by react and by default it can be only an array for now so now after each click we can use set points actually we need to first move it inside our component here and we are going to use set points and on each click we're going to take the point state that we have and save the new x which is going to be page x and y which is going to be page y this one looks good now we have errors because we didn't create the type so let's do that now inside our next to do and that's the circle component so circle component should be easy we are going to create it let's let's just create it in the source here we're going to call it circle.tsx and here we can use the snippets. It's uh, RFC to create a component and we're just going to use this div and style should be, yeah, first we are receiving props, which is going to be, let's export the type first. 
so type let's call it point equals to x number and y number we are going to use the same thing in our app file and now we are just going to use it here we're going to put x and y and that's going to be type of point and now we can just use it in the style here and left should be x and top should be y this one should work let's try it out so now we can go to our app and here we can put our new point type that we created and it's going to be multiple like this now we don't have any more errors and now here below we can go through our points state that we have so we are going to use map and we are going to create not to create but to inject our circle component and x is going to be i totally forgot to put the point so here point and index maybe for the key point is going to be type point and index is a number and x is going to be point dot x and y is going to be point dot y and the key is going to be index so now when we click nothing is happening but we didn't put the css let's just quickly add a circle so here we're going to add the class name circle in the circle component and now here we can put circle class and do a width of 30 pixels maybe and height also background color can be some orcish green and let's try it out now okay it's <laughs> down below we need to have an absolute position like this yes and now it actually works okay let's just put the border radius 50 percent and there it is so now we are creating circles on each click next thing is undo and after that redo so let's see how to do that so we have a circle component we can delete that one and click functionality and we need only these two and we are going to put them right here like this so now it will be much easier if it was only undo because then we can only just undo all the points but because of the redo we need to save all undoed points to one state and we are going to create a new state like this we are going to call it undo the points and set set undo the points and here we are going to create a new handle undo function okay now so i forgot to put an equal sign here i'm going to create new points from our already existing state called points then i'm going to create new undoed points which is going to use new points from here and i'm going to use pop to remove the last element from our stack of points then i can set undoed points like this so i'm going to use the state undoed points and put in the new undoed points this looks good and also these set points should be new points so what do we have here point undefined is not assignable okay we have to deal with it anyway and that's we need to check so if not new undoed points we can just return like this 
this one should work let's test it out so on click we are going to put handle undo and now click 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 undo 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 nice let's go to the redo so for the redo we are going to do everything the same but just reversed so we should take from the undo points and give it to the state points that we already have so here this one should be new undo points and this one should be new points and also here we should use undo points the state and this one should be like this this one is good here new points and also here just to change the naming and here like this and also here like this and should we have the set yeah th this one is undo points i think that one no this one should be points yes and i think this one should work let's try it out this was a little bit quicker than i thought so now we can create our circles we can do undo undo and now redo should return it back and i'm really surprised that it works so if we create a little bit more circles undo 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 redo 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 great this is really nice let's just explain quickly what we did here so in our handle redo function we are taking undo points from our state so if we refresh here we have three points here and now when we press undo we have one undo point so we are taking that one undo point and we are taking that undo point from our array of undo points so later here we are putting inside our points that undo point that we got and so when we press redo we are getting the undo point from our array of undo points Sounds a little bit confusing. And that's it. That's our challenge. We finished it. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any more challenge for me, just post it in the comment section below.